this is Elise Gibbs, and this is Sky for first grade lesson one, Tracking the Sun. This is the beginning of a new unit. Um, each of these lessons may take several days of observation, so be aware of time of needing to prepare and be ready on the, on the perfect day. For example, this first lesson, Tracking the Sun, would be best on a very sunny day so that students can see the shadow of the sun, whereas another lesson, Hooray for Rain, needs works best on a rainy day. Um, all the lessons are separate in themselves. They do not have to be taught in order. So if you have a rainy day the first day of your unit, do lesson five. That's when you need, to, need it. For this lesson, tracking the sun, students will make a, a sundial. They need clay, a toothpick, and chalk, and a paper. Students put their clay on the black dot in their paper, stick their stick in it, and head outside. When they're outside, students put, will put their paper down on the, on the ground and trace around it and then write their name inside their, their shape so that when they return, they can put their piece of paper back in the exact same position before, as they chose the first time. It is important that students are standing at the small end of their trapezoid paper with, on the south side of the paper with the arrow pointing north. You can help them find north and south with your compass. And students need to go outside at least five times during the day and trace around the shadow that's, that, it, that their stick makes outside. And then at the end of the day, re-simulate it using a flashlight. See if students can use the flashlight to get their shadow back in the same position that the sun made it. And discuss how the, the flashlight is, represents the sun. And as the sun moved during the day, the, the shadow of the stick moved during the day. That's lesson one. Thank <laughs> you.